Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and as you've probably read from the title, this is an unboxing and setting up of the Sony HD-S20 R Soundbar Home Theatre System and before we get into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you are subscribed to our channel and click the bell icon so you are notified when we upload a new video. Now, as you can see, uh, the home theater is already out of the box and that's because we wanted to show you exactly what you get in it. You get the sound bar which houses the center and the front left and right channels. You also get two satellite speakers for your surround left and right effects and you get the subwoofer. In the subwoofer, you have all the connectivity options. You have the USB port in front to play music from a pen drive. You have the 3.5mm auxiliary input. You have HDMI, ARC and optical to connect to your TV. And it also has Bluetooth. And uh, you also have some physical touch enabled uh, connections on the top out here. You also get a remote control which should be familiar to anyone who has used a Sony out of the box home theater in the past. It's simple and easy to use. And you only get a 3 3.5 mm cable in the box so if you are someone that's going to connect it via optical or ARC uh, you will have to get the optical and HDMI cables separately. Now we're going to go ahead and connect this to the TV behind me using ARC and show you how to do that. Now for HDMI ARC we are connecting the HDMI cable to the ARC port of the TV as you can see it is marked with ARC and you will have to look at the ports on your TV to know if your TV is ARC which port is ARC and we're connecting the HDMI cable to the back of the home theater now depending on your living room setup you will place the soundbar below the TV or wall mounted because that's also possible and you will keep the satellite speakers uh, preferably close to where you sit. Uh, the sound bar and the satellite speakers come with attached cables and each cable is color coded so you know exactly where to put it at the back of the subwoofer. There is only one power port that connects to the back of the subwoofer and powers the entire system. So all the connectivity goes into the subwoofer so you may want to keep it close to your television. So we have connected the home theater to the television out here with us with the steps that we just told you and I'm going to show you a step by step guide on how to switching on HDMI ARC on this particular TV but you will have to go into the settings of your TV to check uh, how to go about it but the steps should be the same so uh, just to keep it simple we are going to choose a source in this television HDMI 2 is ARC so we have HDMI 1 nothing is connected to it right now but we will go into uh, the menu of the TV, go into the common settings or on your TV it could possibly be sound settings as well and we have an option out here that says HDMI CEC setup, CEC is consumer electronic controls uh, setup, we'll go in here, we'll switch it on, when you switch on you see the options that you have that TV auto power on, device auto power off which means that you can control your HDMI ARC enabled device with just your television's remote control when you switch off and on the television, it will switch on and off the soundbar home theater as well. So once we, once again, we will just go back into the settings, into common out here, into HDMI CEC setup. We switched on CEC and as you can see at the bottom, there's an ARC option. We switch it on and any content that we are going to play off the television now, the audio is coming through the home theater setup. So there you have it guys, that was a quick look at what you get when you buy the Sony HTS 20 r Soundbar Home Theatre System and how to connect it to your television using HDMI ARC. Remember the steps to reach the ARC settings in your television may be different than these and they could be under the sound settings of your TV so you might just have to dig a little deeper. If you have any questions about this system, you can let us know in the comment section below and for more from the world of technology, you can subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon uh, when you have subscribed to know when we upload a new video and the audio that's coming is coming from there It's from the soundbar. Just gonna mute that Or I could control it to the television's remote control like I just showed you It's absolutely perfect mind blasting the world of technology is and if you want such uh, mind blasting information coming your way like I said press that bell icon you'll know when we upload a new video we will catch you in another video it's goodbye only for now because we are going to come back with a review of the soundbar really really soon